الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Bahri channel Once again we are welcoming you on, in our silsila the blessing of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, as the badal yesterday, we will heard about the Sahri. What is Sahri? How much the blessings of Sahri? Alhamdulillah, as the badal in today's silsila, inshallah, as the badal, we will learn about iftar. What is the blessings of iftar? What ahadith, the narrations, tell us about the blessing of iftar? Is there any rules and regulations of iftar? So be with us till the end of this silsila. First of all, we will listen the very beautiful hadith about the reciting of Durud Sharif. The beloved of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If anyone recites Durud upon me two hundred times on a Friday, two hundred years worth of his sins will be forgiven." Subhanallah. Wherever you are, please recite loudly Durud Pak upon Rasul Akram sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Iftar. One should not delay in iftar when he gets sure about sunset. Do not wait for any siren or azan. Eat or drink something instantly, but eating fresh or dried dates or drinking water is sunnah. After eating the date or drinking water, Recite this dua. Allahumma inni laka sumtu. Wa bika amantu. Wa alayka tawakkaltu. Wa ala rizqika aftartu. Translation. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. I fasted for you. And I have faith in you. And I put my trust in you. And I completed my fast with food that you provided for me. Remember. The azan is not a condition for iftar at all. Imagine, how would people living in far-flung areas where there is no masajid or the sound of azan does not reach the houses be able to do iftar in this situation? The maghrib azan is uttered for the maghrib salah, not for iftar. It will be very appropriate if the following announcement is made thrice immediately after the sunset. Say it loudly. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then say the following three times. O oh, fasting people, do iftar. O oh, fasting people, do iftar. O oh, fasting people, do iftar. Alhamdulillah, there are so many virtues of iftar. Yes. So please listen carefully. Eleven virtues of iftar. Number one. Sayyiduna Sahal bin Saad radiyallahu ta'ala nu narrates that the king of both the worlds mercy for the universe comforter for the ummah the rose of Amina's blossoming garden sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam said people will always remain well as long as they hasten to do iftar dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhubi channel as soon as you know for certain that the sun has set you should instantly do iftar by eating a date or drinking water, etc. And recite the dua after eating so that iftar is not delayed. Number two, the mercy of both world, king of the universe, chief of mankind, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, my ummah will follow my sunnah as long as they do not wait for the stars to appear for iftar. Number three, Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala narrates, that the king of both the worlds, mercy for the entire creation, sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam said, that Allah Azza wa said, amongst my people, one hastening to do iftar is more dear to me. Subhanallah Azza wa If you want to be dear to Allah Azza wa then do not occupy yourselves at the time of iftar and do iftar instantly. Number four. Sayyiduna Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala no says, I never saw beloved Rasul of Allah, knower of unseen, the faultless, 
sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, offering the Maghrib Salah before iftar, even though with a sip of water. Number five, Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala narrates that our Makki Madani Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned this religion will always remain dominant as long as people hasten to do iftar because the Jews and Christians delay their iftar. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhuri channel, this hadith encourages us to do iftar without any delay. Delaying iftar is a practice of the Jews and Christians and we have been prohibited to follow them. Number six, Sayyiduna Zayed bin Khalid Juhani radiyallahu ta'ala narrates that the blessed king of Madinatul Munawwara, the chief of Makkatul Mukarrama, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, translation, anyone who gives provisions to a warrior or pilgrim or look after his family in his absence or gets fasting person to do iftar, he will be rewarded the same as him without his reward being reduced. Subhanallah Azzawajal. What a glad news. Whoever provides a warrior with jihad goods will be rewarded the same as him. Whoever financially assists a pilgrim, haji, will be rewarded the same as him. And whoever gets a fasting person to do iftar will be rewarded the same as him. And there will be no reduction in their own rewards. Subhanallah. Zalika fadlullah. However, you must remember that asking people for money in order to perform Hajj or Umrah is haram. And it is also a sin to give anything to such a person. Number seven. Sayyidina Salman Farsi radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the Rasul of mankind, the peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa said, if anyone gets a fasting Muslim, do iftar. Angels will pray for his forgiveness in Ramadan. And Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam will pray for his forgiveness at Laylatul Qadr. Subhanallah. Subhanallah azzawajal. Look how great and magnificent the blessings and favors of Allah azzawajal are. If a Muslim provides someone with a date or sip, sip of water for iftar in the month of Ramadan, then the innocent angels of Allah azzawajal pray for his forgiveness in Ramadan. And Sayyidina Jibrail alayhi salatu wasalam, the chief of all the angels, also prays for his forgiveness at shab qadr Alhamdulillahi ala ihsanihi. Number eight. According to one narration, if anyone gets a person to do iftar in Ramadan with halal earnings, then the angels will send durood upon him at every night of Ramadan. And Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam will shake his hand with such a person at Laylatul Qadr. And if Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam shakes hands with the person, his eyes will shed tears due to the fear of Allah azzawajal, and his heart will become soft. Number nine, another hadith states, if anyone gets a fasting Muslim to drink water, Allah azzawajal will make him drink water from my pool, and he will not feel thirst till he enters heaven. Number 10, Sayyiduna Salman bin Amir radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the seal of the prophets, mercy of mankind, intercessor for sinners, comfort for the poor, Makki Madani Mustafa, the beloved Rasul of Allah Azzawajal, sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam said, when you do iftar, do it with a fresh or dry date, because it is blessed, and if you have neither, then do iftar, with water because it is a purifier. This blessed hadith encourages us to do iftar with fresh or dry dates because it is sunnah to do so. But if you have neither of them, use water because it is a purifier. Number 11. Sayyiduna Anas radiallahu ta'ala narrates that the beloved of Allah sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam used to do iftar before the Maghrib Salah with fresh dates. If they were not available, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would eat a few dry dates instead. And if they were not available either, he would drink a few handfuls of water. Therefore, we should first attempt to do iftar with sweet, fresh dates. 
which is which is a sweet sunnah of our